Hello and welcome to chapter 3 of our HTML and CSS web development course. In chapter 3, we are going to be fixated on lists. What lists are? The types of lists we have. In HTML, we have three main types of what? Lists. As you can see from my screen, one is ordered lists. And ordered lists are used when we want what? number a particular thing or some steps okay for instance there's an algorithm we want to follow or there's a recipe for preparing a particular dish we are supposed to follow it in chronology from one to two so in this case we can number it or use this normal roman numerals in the numbering there's another type of list called unordered list in this case we are not going to use numbers but i want to use bullet points I want to go through the types of bullet points we can use and how to how to write their codes in our editor to be rendered by the browser. And there's a definition list that is made up of some terms. Okay, those are not numbers or bullets with definitions for those terms. Okay, those are the three main types of what list we have. Let's go straight to our test editor let me clean up my code so the first kind of list we are going to look at is the ordered list ordered list now the ordered list element has a tag name of ol to represent ordered list now each list item will also have an element within the ol that is within the ordered element which is what li to represent each list item for example Pear, orange, banana. Now, let me explain this code. If you come to the OL, which represents the order list, that means you are going to number this particular thing into one, two, three, four. For instance, we've been told to write our top five favorite fruits or best fruits we like. In this case, we would like to what number it from the best to the least what favorites. So you first indicate to HTML uh, to the page that this is an what this is an ordered list, and at each list item you indicate what the the content between the list the content between using li to represent it. Let me save and then refresh my page. Now when we refresh our page. This is what we are going to see. We are going to see the list I have created in order. One, two, three, four, and five. This is an ordered list, which uses numbers in listing the items in a particular order. Most of the time in the in the from the highest importance to the list, just like you do when you are giving an algorithm to follow in order to do. A particular item that is for ordered lists let's go into our code editor again and give examples of unordered lists that means that lists using what bullet points instead of using uh, numbers let me just use the same items but change the other list has an element called ul and not what ol ol stands for other list ul stands for on other list let me just save okay let me just change some of the items let me make this school let me make this house let me make this hotel let me make this hospital let me make this market let me save control s go to my web browser and then refresh now i can see that the the second um list i've created has bullet points instead of numbers they have bullet points instead of numbers refresh now this very first list one to five are ordered the ones that are below here are on ordered so it uses bullet points to list items and this one uses what numbers in listing items 
The third type of list in HTML is the definition list. Now, the DL element is used to contain the definition list. DL, definition list. Inside the definition list, there are two other elements. One is the DT element, which stands for the definition term, and then another DD element, which stands for the definition of the particular term. You know, I explained that definition list is used in defining some terms. Okay, so let's go straight to our test editor and give these examples. Uh, so let me just do another another H2 and give it a name definition list. Sitting on top of definition list is a D, DL, close the bracket. Inside each DL, there is a DT and a, a DD. So let's do the DT to indicate the term or the jargon we would like to explain. So let's say we would like to explain now. And then under the DT, there is a DD. And the DD is used in defining what the term is. So in defining what a noun is. So I can type and say the name of a person. An animal, a place, or a thing. Full stop. So this becomes one list. It's different. If you look at the structure, it's different from the way on other lists are and the way other lists are. In doing definition lists, they all come into this big element called DL element, and this DL element will contain a DT element, which is what a DT element, which is the definition term, and then DD, which is the definition of the term so this is one list item it can contain series of what series of definition terms and their meanings so let me just copy let me paste this one let me just write verb and the explanation or the definition of a verb is a doing word or an action word i can create more lists let me just write uh, another term pronoun and then the explanation or the definition it's takes this place of or one can say it is use place of a noun it means the same you can keep on giving a lot of what definitions and they are what and explaining the terms let me save control s and refresh my browser so you see definition terms you see the term to your stream right and then uh, your stream left beg your pardon and then the meaning is what indented this is another term meaning this is another term meaning and there's another term meaning so that is how definition list also works we will be going to explain further properties or further explanation on the list so you can do nested list explain how to go about it now let's talk about nested list or if you like multi list you see you can give a particular list item and then within the list items to there are sub lists let's try it and um, let me try and get let me do another heading nested list i've typed some limits now for instance you've been asked to give an on other list of some computer devices you know or some peripherals you know and then when you are giving those uh, examples give four examples of input devices so you are listing some three definitions to list some devices you know so processing devices input devices and output devices but when we get to the input devices give four examples of input devices as well how do you represent it first of all it should all come under on other list because you are asked to do on other lists so that's the first secondly you are supposed to also name three so this is the first list under the main on ordered list this is a second item this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag opening tag a closing tag and then opening tag here you are also supposed to give a third one opening tag and then closing tag and then you close the main order list here the next thing you are supposed to do the next thing to do is to come to the input devices and create another on order list within the on order list so you are creating a sub list from the main list item so you create another on order list here and you bring another list item each of them you indicate one example each of them one that means that you are also going to get another bullet 
but this bullet should be different from the main bullet points so let's check it out let me save let me let me let me save it properly i was trying to close it so it's saved now after refreshing see what we are going to get you're going to get nested or mortar list processing devices input devices and input devices i'm going to get three four other on order list inside my on order list of what input device and output devices so this is what we call nested list or multi list creating sub list from the main list let me try one more let me try and create an order list in there on order list so let me just try and make this one an order list sorry let's make this one ordered this place should also let me save and see what is going to happen after refreshing that means that i have what created an ordered list in an unordered list which is the main thing the main work is what an ordered list and then inside the unordered list item input devices i create ordered list of what four input devices in order of let's say priority to me i hope you i hope you are getting it so you can create multiple list or nested list a list within a list and a list within the list and a list within the list okay it can also be done now this is also going to be the end of our chapter 3 lesson on lists. We discussed the types which is order list, on order list and definition list. Then later we also explain nested or multi list that is finding a list within another list item. Thank you and see you in lesson 4. We are going to talk about links.